Hello yeah. YouTube, welcome to another video. My name is Knox. Today I'm going to be talking about filtering your pick list by record types and screen flows. I'm only going to be talking about how to filter one record type, not have multiple ones. Uh, the reason is that this is something that I couldn't find a solution to. And essentially, if you have multiple record types and you just want to filter your screen flow by one record type, this is the video for you. In this scenario, I'm going to be using Opportunities, and currently Opportunities has two record types, Bank and Building. And in the money stage, there is, and I'll show you, just to give you a visualization. In the money, there's three values, cash, debit, credit. And that's in the bank record type. And in the building record type, there is cash, free, debit, and credit. So these are just made up scenarios. So essentially for my scenario is I want my flow to flow through the building record types and have those four values shown the money. So before you create the flow, you need to get the record type. So if you don't have Salesforce Inspector downloaded, I will provide a link as well so you can download that extension. Salesforce Inspector allows you to see um, metadata. So essentially what you wanna do is go to the object. And in this example, I need the opportunity record type. I'm gonna click new and I'm gonna go to building. I'm gonna fill the necessary scenarios or information. Go here, type, existing, qualification, and then close date. So we filled out the required fields. Oops, I don't know why it's not. I'll just do $200, I guess. Okay, so that's all we need to do for that, right? So we just wanted the record type. So what you're gonna do is navigate to Salesforce Inspector, show all data, type in record type and grab this ID. Now with this information, you're ready to create your flow and then filter that pick list. So we're gonna go to flow and then click new. We're gonna go to screen flow and then we're gonna go ahead and use a get. We're gonna grab some data. So get opportunity. I'm gonna search for opportunity. Then in this conditions, you're gonna go ahead and type in record type and we're gonna filter it by this record type. So everything else looks good here, depending on what, what scenario you have, but this is essentially how you're gonna filter the record type. I'm gonna go ahead and create a screen, I'm not gonna do any other logic. We're gonna just call it screen, keep it simple. Then we're gonna go over here, we're gonna to go to fields, and we're gonna search uh, opportunities. It should already uh, populate. And then from here, you should see the pick list that you want to have filtered by that record type. So in my scenario, uh, money's right here. And so if I click done, I'm gonna go ahead and save this one. So I'm just gonna say example, click save. Flow a process, oops, it's they already have one example. So this is 2023, change the API as well. Perfect. I'm gonna go ahead and just debug this. So now I should only get cash, free, debit, credit. And if we go back, right, let's go back to the opportunity, um, record types, building, money should be cash, free, debit, credit. If we go over here to bank, money, we should only see three values. So this is just a quick way to filter it by one pick list, any pick list that you're trying to achieve. So I hope this helps. I just wanted to show you guys how to filter by one pick list value with a record type. Um, I'm sure there's other videos that show you multiple ones, but this was just a problem that I dealt with and I feel like this can help others as well. Thank you. If you have any questions, please let me know.